Hi everyone and welcome to book one unit 12 where we're going to be looking at suggestions with infinitives. So now let's watch some dialogue. It's Wallace's first day of kindergarten and his head is stuck in a chair. His father and the teacher are trying to help him. Daddy, help me! I'm going to be stuck like this forever! We're trying, boy. You're really stuck in there, aren't you? Say, Mr. Figglegoops, does this happen a lot? Yep, once a year. What have you done in the past? Well, sometimes it's helpful to put some oil on the chair. Really? Yes, but there isn't any oil around here. Are there any tools we could use? Hmm, there's a saw. No way! Hmm, it's a good idea not to use something dangerous. Jeez, he's really stuck in there. It might be a good idea to call the fire department. <clears throat> I think you're right. I hope they don't have any bigger problems right now. We just received a call. A small boy has his head stuck in a chair. What are you waiting for? Let's go! So what we're looking at today are suggestions with infinitives. So previously, we've looked at giving solutions with imperatives. But these are more for commands, not suggestions. Imperatives um, sound very serious, very direct. Take a bath. Call your mother. Don't touch that. But we're going to learn suggestions with infinitives to sound more polite and friendly. So when we're constructing these suggestions, it's important to remember to include the word to. You're going to need to use it a lot today, but it's something that a lot of people often forget. So the complete formula is as follows. We have some phrases like, it's a good idea, it's important, it's sometimes helpful. These are polite ways of starting our suggestions. And after that, we need to add the infinitive. And the infinitive is to plus the verb in its base form. Okay, And if it's negative, we put not before the to. So, for example, it's important not to drink coffee before bed. You can never ever use a different form of the verb after to. It has to be in its base form. So let's have a look at this guy. So his problem is I have insomnia. So he can't sleep. So a suggestion for him. It's a good idea not to drink coffee. So it's negative, so we have not, which comes before to, and you can see drink is in its base form. Another one is it's sometimes helpful to count sheep. And here count is the verb, and you can see it's in its base form, and it comes straight after to. So this man is very red. He has sunburn. Okay. So what's some good advice for sunburn? Well, you could say it's important to stay out of the sun. So we have to and then stay the verb in its base form. It's sometimes helpful to apply lotion. To and the verb apply in its base form. And one more example. I'm very sick and I don't know why. Well, it's important to call a doctor. To and call in its base form. 
it's important not to search for your illness on Google. This is a bad idea. You should ask a professional. So again, it's a negative. So we have not to and then search in its base form. That's everything. So now try the exercises below. Bye.